Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today it is Joy Toy Warhammer 40k time. It is Barbaring, the first of the Grey Knights released, the Grey Knights Venerable Dreadnought. Now we have seen the same Dreadnought design already with the Ultramarines and then similar but with the covered up front part with the Blood Angels. And this one does come with a or an exchangeable hand. Let's have a quick look at the... Uh, box picture there with the power fist on the back it shows that it can change from a power fist until ever this one is here i think that's the same one we saw on the blood angels but at least this one comes with the uh hand option for for uh changing over tells you contains one 20 centimeter collector's action figure and accessories but it's accessory really looks pretty cool not being different really to the ultramarines one that much uh, but let's uh, open it up and let's take a look. So back in an instant. Okay, here he is. He does come with the exchangeable hand. You see it's actually a sort of a rectangular cuboid slot to go in. And yes, there is articulation on there. And it does come with this little, what's this, hexagonal bolt cover part. I've no idea where that goes, if I'm honest. I'll have to have a, a look and play in a moment. If I can't spot it in the video, I will probably find out afterwards. And if I can't find it afterwards, please, if you guys do know where it comes from, do let me know in the comments. Now, having said that, there is a hexagonal hole in the head there. So I'm going to assume that that just pops in there. It looks like it fits, but what is that for? Is that for another attachment later on? I assume so. Obviously, I'm going to put the hands in. They look a bit strange. Um... First impressions, that paintwork is really nice. You can just about make out, you've got the blue tinge, metallic tinge going on there. Also on the helmet there. So let's take a closer look. Here he is, you can see the blue tinge quite clearly across the eyes there. Got the names on here. Now with the uh, Blood Angels one, the names are actually just put on top of the... Uh, previous ultramarines one this is like the ultramarines got the four engine exhaust pipes on the back there same gun arm blue tinge across there pretty cool on the back it's basically the same with some coloration differences and a few small other minor differences articulation now one thing I have noticed already is the head is not as loose. It's a stiffer head, which is good. This is an improvement. Again, you can take this up. And on my Ultramarines one, it was very difficult. I, I said like you couldn't do it, but actually you could. And this one's quite easy. You can take this body part out by just wiggling and pulling. There we go. And underneath it's got like a blank thing, which is, yeah. I mean, it's nice if they can make alternative things to put in there. This is just your marine body section. But it'd be nice if that was actually something underneath you could sort of discover and something new there. Uh, so the waist is like this. It's a rock. It's a uh, ball forwards, backwards, turn side to side. Now the gun arm... I think previously I said there wasn't any articulation apart from the up and the down. You can go in and out, but if you watch, if I force too much, you can see the plastic, there we go, the arm is coming apart. So you want to be careful if you're going to do that, but it's very, very little, otherwise it's just around. This one is better, you can move the hatch there. Nice ratchet, there is a bend. You can't go, well can, yeah it can go around, sorry, the wires don't get in the way. Got the little rubber and the rubber here and another rubber one inside. There's a biceps turn as well. Hips can do four splits forwards, just about I think. There you go. But the rubber you can see is coming off here, so you don't really want to be pushing it that far. Sideways, this far. There's no toe articulation, but the ankles do have articulation. And it's particularly nice 
because it's like almost like a piston moving on the sides you can see and forwards backwards as well so articulation is acceptable now for the hand I'm assuming it's just a is it a certain angle to pull ah! maybe maybe not so that is looking like fist straight down for that and they can just slot in there we go it looks like it's just that way it slots out but I don't know but and then we do have the articulation on the fingers here and I think this is a better loadout than the power fist in my opinion I prefer the look of that it's not much difference but the coloring is nice it does look good but it's just a little bit upsetting with this gun arm here that you can articulate it slightly but if you put it a little bit the plastic wants to uh, wants to pop out wasn't secured enough so nice looking nice looking uh addition as a good start to the gray knight's line and that it's showing promise for the uh paint apps you see the metallic blue around there as well on that claw it seems to be just the gray which is a bit of a shame it'd be nice you could have a, a touch of it on that too and then that is obviously i'm not sure why that's there goes to the top so i'm assuming let's have a quick check of that does fit yeah so i'm assuming that there will be some sort of a accessory to attach there in the future which would be pretty cool if there is scale wise i think last time i measured it about 20 cm let's have a look to the top of the exhaust is about 20 cm whip wise from shoulder to shoulders about again about 20 cm so there's like a cube and then the depth is about 12 cm approximately depending if the arms are forwards or not so it's a quite a chunky boy not big like the indicta war suit if i'll give you an idea of size comparison if i grab what should i grab let me grab my epoch capsule to a crash dummy who's obviously not in the same universe but put in there invicta warsuit pilot which is obviously the same universe we put there we can see the difference now if you do enjoy this sort of content please do consider supporting us on patreon there'll be a link in the top right of the screen now you get to see things like this early exclusive videos uh which you don't see elsewhere and so on okay let's choose another figure for comparison i think i'll use my very hard to get halo sergeant johnson who's a bit smaller because their line is just a bit smaller on their uh, 118 scale please stand up ah! without knocking over your compatriot 118 scale compatriot and you see it does thank you it does tower over him too he's a great figure he's he'll be in the top right video for uh suggested videos good start to the uh gray knights i am liking it and i really like the look of their their sort of terminators they've they've shown already and i can't wait for them to be released as well okay so awesome match story signing out saying please like share subscribe again consider joining the patreon to support us and check out the videos on this channel. There's over a thousand for you guys to enjoy stay happy keep collecting bye bye